Hey everyone, Xenorizer here and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, we found out that we're connected to the natural disasters in some way. Hmm. Good morning, Zeno. Let's keep, d keep on doing good. Actually, I want to ask you something. What do you think about what Zatu said yesterday? Does it bother you? Nah. It doesn't concern you. Zeno, don't joke around. It's not funny. The world might be destroyed. And how you became a Pokemon, Zeno, that's all supposed to be related. Oh, I understand now. How stupid of me. Of course you would be more worried than I am, Zeno. You're involved in all this. It's only natural that you'd be worried. S sorry, Zeno. That was inconsiderate of me. So I just said that the world will be ruined if nothing is done. I want to do something, but there's something I don't understand. So, uh, the world's balance. What is it? Zeno, do you know what the world balance is? Of course! Oh, really? Zeno, you know? Please tell me, what is the world's balance? It's in space! Oh, sorry. It's... It is in space. In space, like where the stars and the moon are. That space. Hmm, I'm getting even more confused. Okay, so where exactly in space is the world balance? If you go, you'll see. Huh? Go out to space. And how do we go out to space? There's only one way to get there. You fly there. How am I supposed to fly? There was only one way to... <laughs> I can't do it. I was going to do it, but I can't. I always crack up. It's such a stupid... <laughs> oh, Pelipper! You came at the right time! I was wondering if you can carry us up to space. No way! Not a chance! Why are you angry at me? I haven't lied. Okay, maybe I have. It appears to be impossible. The one place that is not corrupted by capitalism! Space! Sorry. What's wrong with you saying all these ridiculous things about capitalism and space? What even is capitalism? I wish you'd be more considerate before making jokes. I am sorry. I'm, I'm partly waiting for that. I could not do the original bet I was going to do. I'm too busy cracking up. So you don't know either, so you know. I just said it's impossible to reach there. It does not mean I don't know. <laughs> I can't imagine about what the world's balance about is about. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what we should do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still cracking up. Well, I guess we'll have to do... We have to keep... Excuse me. We have to keep doing what we can. One thing at a time. Huh? What are they chatting about? Yeah, I'm kind of shocked. I always thought it was only a legend. But could it be true? I'm having a hard time believing it. Hi, what's happening? Well, you know that Nine Tails legend. That old story. I'm quite sure I've accidentally changed Lombre's voice. Whoops. Too bad I don't remember it. The Ninetales legend? What's that? What? You don't know? You know, it's this old fairy tale. How you'll get cursed if you ever grab one of Ninetales' tales. All this time, everyone thought it was just a legend. But lately, it's been rumored that it maybe, but maybe it really happened. Well, it is still a mere rumor. I wouldn't be too much stock in my story if I were you. Personally, I don't believe in rumours of that sort. 
if you want to know more about the nine tier legend, you should go see a Pokemon named Wishcash. He knows the story well. Wishcash is a, uh, you know, in his pond. You should visit him if you want to know more. I'm going to warn you. There is a sort of semi point of no return. You want to make sure you have done everything you want to do. Biomes. Can't do any more. Oh, really? You're not gonna let me? Oh, fine, fine, Ivory. Oh, oh, oh! You wish to hear me tell old folklore? What was that? You wish to hear the Nine Tales legend? Oh, oh, oh! Fine then, let me recount the tale. There once lived a Pokemon named Ninetales. Now Ninetales had many tales, all of them immune with psychic power. It was said that anyone so foolish as to touch a tale would be cursed for a thousand years. But there was someone so foolish as to grab a tail, and it was a human. A human? Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a thousand year curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named God Evoir shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would a Pokemon Gondor take the human's place? To God Evoir, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. Okay. Humans aren't there good humans and bad ones too? Correct. Taking pity on God for Nine Tails asked the human this Do you wish to save God of War? It asked. But the human already abandoned God of War and fled. Nine Tails became disillusioned with the human and it made this prediction. That human one day, that human will one day be reborn as a Pokemon. What? A human would turn into a Pokemon? And when the human becomes a Pokemon, the world's balance will be upset. And that is how the legend ends. Well, did you find it interesting? Mm. Ha <laughs> You found it so interesting you're at a loss for words! Ho 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 ho! Well, there's no need to wear, wear such a serious expression. Certainly some rumours say that the legend may be, uh, should be true, but it is only ancient folklore. Nothing more. If you feel the urge to hear my tale again, come see me! Ho 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 ho! We want to check the bulletin board. Nothing else is really that good. I don't know why that still filled up, but well. C 
say, Zeno, I want to call it for a, call it a day now. I can't get motivated today. Sure. I'm sorry for wanting to go home before we're done, but I just can't seem to get motivated. I guess it's because I heard that story. <laughs> uh, I'll go home and try and get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Zeno, sorry. I started doubting you a little. Zeno, I'm not going to worry anymore. I believe in you, Zeno. Because you're a friend like no other, Zeno. You're an invaluable friend. Okay, Zeno. Let's try your best to do well tomorrow. Again. It's that dream again. I always see the silhouette. Who could it be? Oh, is it saying something? I can't quite make it out. It's clearer than it was before, but I'll try talking to it. Hello? Please, tell me. You, who are you? I am. I am Gardevoir. Gardevoir? I'm so glad. Finally. I finally got to meet you. Huh? Finally met me? You knew me from before? What about me? I am your... Oh, wait just a little longer. I want, it to, I want to know more. No, it's fading. Uh, uh. Next morning. Mm. What a strange dream. It's the dream I always had, but it was clearer than it was before. I think I finally learned who that Pokemon was. That's it. Gardevoir. It was Gardevoir. It's just a whiskash said. Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a thousand year curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human. It sacrificed yourself and sacrificed yourself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would a Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, the human was her part. There exist a strong bonds, bonds between humans and Pokemon. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I was the human who was Gardevoir's partner. Maybe I was the one that banded Gardevoir, which banded Gardevoir when she was cursed. Maybe that's why I turned into a Pokemon. Sorry. Ugh. Morning, Zeno. Oh? You look pale. Is something the matter? Well, anyways, as always, let's try to do our best. Oh, yeah. I was on... While I was on my way here, I think there was a commotion at Pokemon Square. You came from the left. You didn't come from the right. You could have gone there. I wonder if something happened. And we have to go there. The town's atmosphere feels different somehow. Maybe something's happened. Zio, let's check it out. Oh my god, I'm so yawning, so sorry. Look, why is everyone gathered together? Hi, what's going on? 
Let me tell you, I was amazed. It really was true. What was true? The Nine Tales legend. I never believed the rumors, so I, you can bet I was shocked to learn the truth. Zeno, Ivory. Oh, hi, Carby. Even you came out, Carby? Yes. Shh! Quiet. The guy, oh, the guy, that guy there is telling us, telling us, keep it down. Huh. Who's talking? It's... G Gengar? So, I went up to the Hill of the Ancients. <laughs> and that's when I saw it. It was shocking stuff, I tell you. <laughs> shocking stuff? This certain Pokemon was getting advice from Zatu. That Pokemon... It looks like an ordinary Pokemon. But get this. It was or originally a human. What? It really exists? A human that turned into a Pokemon? There's more. Zatu told the human. But how the human became a Pokemon has a lot to do with how the world's balance is upset. Wait a second. That's exactly like the Nine Tails legend. Don't be too shocked yet. There's more. You all know how there's been many natural disasters, correct? According to Zatu, those disasters are caused by the world's balance being upset. And if the world's balance is restored to the unthinkable will happen to the world. That's what Zatu said. <laughs> what? The world? The unthinkable's going to happen? What are what are we to do? That Gengar, he's deliberately working everyone up. Now now people. There's more there's no need to panic. Why, I think there's a way we can do something about this. <laughs> what can we do? Oh, it's quite simple actually. If the world's balance is set by a human becoming a Pokemon, then if the human is gone, everything should return to normal. Correct. That's true. When you put it that way, maybe you're right. Okay. <laughs> that human is the rotten coward that I've been guard for, correct? I don't think that human can complain about anything if we get rid of it. Isn't that right, Zeno? <laughs> What? It, it can't be. Y you? You were that human? Is that true? Hey! Wait, this is... Like, there's a good explanation for... We're not asking you, we're asking Zeno. Hey, Zeno, so what is it? Are you really the human of the human that was in the legend? Zeno? Zeno? <laughs> Looks like you have nothing to say in your defense, you know. That's how it is, fellow Pokemon. Let's get rid of Zeno and regain peace. <laughs> what? What? Everyone, what's going into you? What are you going to do? What? Zeno, run! There was something that they, that they changed in the scene. Lombre actually attacked the player. I wish they kept that in! Serves them right. <laughs> oh, a surprise. I didn't think things would get so weird all of a sudden. I thought we were about to get, be in some real trouble. No one attacked us. They just started stalking towards us. Nothing bad that bad happened except for people turning on us. But listen, Zeno. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you argue that it's not you? You should have said you're not the human that appears in the Legend of Nine Tales. Listen, Ivory. 
I am so sorry if you can hear that motorbike outside. Huh? What is it? I'm tired of this. Huh? You tired? What are you saying? I am really sorry for that, for that mo motorcycle outside. I do not know what my neighbors are doing. Huh? You don't think you deserve to be on our rescue team? What's wrong? What makes you say that? But it doesn't sound like you at all, Zeno. Tell me, what's the matter? Huh? You had a dream? And Gardevoir appeared in it? That made you think maybe you were the human after all? So that's what it is. That's what happened. Listen, Zeno, I didn't... I, you didn't remember what you were like as a human being, did you? So you don't n know what really happened. I, I believe in you, Zeno. You know that, right? So... Oh! After the scene in Pokemon Square, we held a town meeting on what we must do to save the world. And we arrived at a consensus. We must get rid of you. You're kidding! I was incredulous too. I had hoped it would not come to this, but it is unfortunate. We will defeat you with all our might. We're fighting here? We will give you tonight. Huh? Pack your supplies and get out of here. Come tomorrow, rescue teams of all sorts will take up the chase and attack you without hesitation. And not just you. Anyone that goes with Zeno will be considered an enemy. The trackers will attack without mercy. That goes for us too. We will join the hunt to be rid of you. Against all odds, you must run. Run, run, and survive. You must run and... T Run until you cover the truth. Alakazam! There will be no mercy the next time we meet. Farewell. Zeno, did you see? Alakazam's team has faith in you too. Yeah, I can see that in his own special way. He, he already said he wants he will kill us if we meet next time, though. So I'm not exactly sure if I completely believe that he has has total faith in us. I said before, didn't I? I'm not going to worry anymore. Whatever happens, I have faith in you, Zeno. Even if other rest teams stalk us, I won't be scared. So, what are we supposed to do if you don't have faith in yourself, Zeno? Zeno! Caterpie? Zeno, I made a promise, remember? That we'd make a rescue team base here. That I would join your rescue team when I grew up. Zeno, don't give up. You're a hero to me, Zeno. I believe in you too. So, what do you say, Zeno? There's only one option. We will find the truth. Exactly. That's the spirit. That's more like it. That's what we expect from our Zeno. We'll have to leave for the time. We'll have to leave for the time being. But we're going to come back for sure. And we'll bring the truth back with us. The next dawn. Morning, Zeno. It's early, but of course you'd be up by now. Are you ready to leave? Not yet. Oh, okay. I'll wait for you to get back. Tell me when you're ready. Let's leave then. Are you going out to Pokemon Square? There are, Pokemon... there are other Pokemon in the square, so be really careful. It's too early, so I think everyone will still be asleep. 
but be sure to not wake anyone. Can't leave with others. Next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX It's time to run away to find the truth. This is Xeno and Azuma of No. This is Xeno and Azuma, the fugitive. Signing out.